Hi, I'm Cani Reza, and I want to welcome you to Amazing Science Lessons, day three of the five days of our lessons. Now, you notice how we connected day one, beginning with the characteristics of trees. Now, then we connected to day two, which was the life cycle of trees. Today, we are going to focus on another topic. But before we do that, how do we introduce a lesson? Through our novelty. And as I mentioned before, the brain thrives on novelty. So of course, I want children to connect to that science lesson. I want them to connect to our uh, main objective, which is the life cycle of pine trees. Today, the first thing we're going to do is review. Remember yesterday? What did we talk about? We talked about the pine cone, right? We, we found that inside the pine cone are the little leaves. And the pine cones are brown. So we're going to review the whole life cycle of the pine trees. Now today what we're going to do for our engagement is compare pine trees to other types of trees. But before I give, tell them what these two are called, what these two kinds of trees are, I'm going to let them explore first. And mainly what I want them to do is connect to their background knowledge. I want them to connect to how much do they know already and how much have they observed. Remember, this is our third day. So they started with the pine tree branch and now I'm going to introduce a different type. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to organize my group into different clusters, different groups. One group of children are going to have a different type of a branch. If you notice, it's quite different. Another group of children are going to continue to observe this one. So we might have two, three groups observing this type of a branch, two, three groups observing this type of a branch. So as they're sitting there, I'm going to divide them into little groups. But, of course, every child will still have a hand lens in their hand. So I'm going to guide them and say, this group, I want you to observe this branch. Tell me everything you can see about this branch. Another group, I want you to observe the branch that you observed the other day. And, of course, now you're going to have a lot more information to share and investigate on this branch. So as the children are actively engaged, I'm also going to tell them, use your sense of touch to feel the leaves. Use your hearing to see if they make any kind of a noise. Use your sense of smell. Do they smell like anything? And of course, your eyes to observe. Remember, we're using only four of our senses here. Now, as children are, are engaged and are observing and exploring and identifying, they're connecting, right? Now, after they finish this engagement, we are going to, I'm going to gather the children back and say, okay, now, I want you to think about what you just observed. And I'm going to talk about two different types of trees. So now I'm going to give the children a different chart. We're going to create a chart. And we're going to create this chart together. Why? Because remember, I always want to be writing in front of children. I want them to connect to the print. And I want them to be part of this. I don't want to just come and give a put a chart in front of them and then go over it. They are helping me create it. So today we're going to talk about what type of a tree does this branch come from? And that is the coniferous. This type of a tree, the pine tree, we call it coniferous. What this means is that this type of a leaf stays green year-round. Now, not all trees, not all coniferous stay green, but 
were teaching early childhood. These children, they begin to identify, okay, the, tree, the, the trees that have the, the long uh, needle type leaves are the ones that stay green. They're called coniferous. Now these trees, that are not pine trees, they are not evergreens, those are what we call deciduous. I have heard children as young as two and a half years old saying deciduous. It is amazing how easy they can verbalize and sound out those words. So I never, never hold back from saying those long words. I want those long words to register into their, long, their little memory. So today, boys and girls, now that you've observed and now that you have investigated on these two types of trees, let's uh, identify them. Let's compare the two. We're going to compare and contrast the two. Now notice how I have them. I'm going to list everything about the coniferous tree, everything about the deciduous tree, even though I'm comparing. But I am not, I, I am going to make it very clear to children that this is one type and this is another type. There might be some things that are the same for both. Well, I'll just write for both there. I want them to really understand and differentiate between the two. So let's start with the coniferous. Tell me one thing that you want to start with. What is one thing you would say about the coniferous? They're green. Very good, okay. They are green, so I'm gonna put green here. G-R-E-E-N. Now, can you say that about the deciduous? Yes, they are green. So I'm gonna put green here. G R E E N. They are both green. Of course. Look at this tree. Where's the leaves? One big difference is that this tree begins to uh, dry up its leaves. So it loses it. You can already see here. And we'll investigate that more through our literacy. Now, what else can you tell me about the coniferous? Oh, the needles are long and thin. Okay, the leaves are long and thin. Like needles, okay? We're gonna put needles here. And we made that investigation. Needles. We made this investigation on day one. Now, what can you tell me about these leaves? They are long and what? Fat or wide? And of course, I'm giving you that information, but I will wait to see what children are going to tell me. So they are also long and wide. They are long and wide. What else can you tell me about these ones? They are rough. When you touch them, they feel rough. Okay. R-O-U-G-H. What about these ones? Oh, they are smooth. Shiny, smooth. Okay, we're going to put smooth here. S-M-O-O-T. H. Do you see what we're doing? We are comparing one tree or one branch to another. And they are, we, I am using real hands-on life experiences that they get to hold it in their hand. They get to observe it. They get to feel it and really touch it and and look at all the detail on this type of a tree. So here we have two kinds of trees. And those are the two trees where these branches come from. We have the coniferous, which is the pine tree. So we're going to put here 
pine trees. As a matter of fact, we can, I guess we can put it here. Pine, P-I-N-E, trees, T-R-E-E-S. Pine trees are coniferous. They do not lose their leaves in year round. As new leaves are coming out, the old leaves begin to fall, but they will always have leaves. And the deciduous trees are seasonal. There's different kinds of trees under the deciduous. They are seasonal because they lose their leaves in the winter. So let's connect through our liter literacy. And if you notice, I, I have not added too many words here, but when children are in front of you and children are giving you the information, you can write it fast enough how quickly children are giving you information. Why? Because they have held it in their hand. Now let's connect through literacy. Remember, I use all different kinds of, of books. And even though I'm showing you only one book, I may have two, three books here. And I may show children and say, look at this page. Well, look at this other book. And here, this one is Trees. And this book is by, uh, I believe it's Henry, Henry Pluckrose, an excellent book that I've used to compare the different types of trees. And uh, on this page, you will see all kinds of leaves from a deciduous tree and some coniferous as we continue to, uh, to observe all different types of trees. And uh, with younger children, we may just go through the pictures. With older children, we may be reading. And of course, even younger children enjoy hearing more information. Now, why do we use books? That's to gain new knowledge, add new knowledge to our chart, add new knowledge to their little brains, add new vocabulary to, to the child's brain. So after we finish with our connecting through literacy, what do we connect to next? And that is technology. Now, how powerful is it for children to put in the word deciduous and all of a sudden on front of them, on their screen of their computer, see all kinds of trees, oak trees, uh, magnolia trees, all kinds of trees. And guess what? As children begin to read, now they will want to read about those trees. Now they will want to share with you about those trees. Another excellent word would be coniferous trees. And guess what they're going to see? All kinds of pine trees under the coniferous. Under the deciduous, they're going to see that those, tree, those leaves are turning yellow, uh, orange, all different colors. Why? Because it's a deciduous tree. It loses its leaves. Now notice that we're, I'm keeping it very brief. I'm doing just an introduction. I'm just sh I'm showing children that there's two different types of trees. That's all I'm doing here. So as they go out with their parents out, out walking, they can start to differentiate. And by them holding a branch in their little hands, observing it, identifying, investigating, now, when they see it up on a real tree, can you imagine how excited they will be to tell their parents, that's a coniferous tree. How do you know? Oh, because it has needle-shaped leaves. Or that's a deciduous tree. How do you know? Oh, because the leaves are falling off. Or they're white. And, of course, how do we end our lesson? Tell me one thing you learned of a coniferous tree. Or tell me one thing you learned about a deciduous tree. And allow children to again use their vocabulary, share with you, interact, and uh, allow them to just connect to the world around them. This concludes day three of our five lessons. Please join me as I share with you day four. Thank you.